Hi everyone. Welcome back to YC Cooks and Bakes. Today I'm going to be making an apple crisp to go with our pork chop dinner. And I wanted to show you something. We are going to bread our chops with this. It's Parmesan garlic. It's a chicken coating mix, but you know you can use it on chops and stuff too. And this is brand new. Well, it's brand new as far as I see at our Aldi and I wanted to give it a try. If you've already used this and you like it, please uh, leave your uh, opinion of it, how easy it is to use or not in the comments. I want to give it a try for our center cut chops today. And I thought it would be nice instead of having pork chops and applesauce to uh, make an apple crisp today. Uh, so I thought I would show you how I do mine. Okay, so you're going to peel four large or like six medium to small apples. Okay. I hope everyone is having a nice weekend so far. I know a lot of places it's getting cooler getting a little cooler here but we've had a, still a lot of warm days here in South Carolina. I've already peeled my other apples. I just wanted to show you this like that I just use you know this kind of peeler. I use a carrot peeler and just peel my apples. If you hear something crunching in the background that's my German Shepherd Bella. She's um, eating a great big beef bone. Okay, so I've got all my, I'll, I'll tilt you forward so you can see. Let's see here. There you go. Um, have all my apples are uh, peeled. And I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, you can see all the, the peelings. I'm going to go ahead and cut them at this time. On my cutting board. And if you want to chop them, you can, but I like to have mine in, um, you know, half moon slices. You know, like how I put it on the side like this and I go like this. And you're going to be making this apple crisp in a square dish, kind of like an eight by eight or whatever kind of square dish you have works. And you want to spray it first. And I just drop these half moon pieces in the dish. Okay. Let's see if I can get that out of your way. Okay. And you are going to use a stick of butter in this recipe, a half a cup of butter. And it doesn't matter if it's salted or unsalted. But you're going to want to go ahead and take one of these out of the refrigerator and um, try to get out that little, you know, the little thing that holds the seeds. You want to take that out of the apple. And you're just throwing all these in the dish. It's okay if there's, you know, like some parts of the skin are still on. It'll be all right. That all cooks up. It cooks, and you know it's edible, obviously. It's just nice to have a change uh, with the pork chops instead of, you know, regular applesauce. Sometimes, sometimes you want a change. And apple crisp is a good way to do that. My family wants this 
almost every time I do chops. And sometimes I switch it up a bit. And, and to make this different, you can actually add cheese to it because apple and cheese goes very well together. And I don't see it out, but there is there is cinnamon in this. And I actually bought some brand new cinnamon at Aldi because I ran completely out last week. I have to find what I did with it. try to use much of it, as much of the meat from the apple as I can. That's why you see me carving it up. And this is early in the day. It's not supper time. Uh, but you can make this um, you can make this ahead of time and you know put it in the refrigerator covered and then um just take it out and you know bake it as your chops are baking in the oven. But this is going to go for uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 to 50 minutes. Uh, but you can cook this at the same time you do everything else, macaroni and cheese, whatever you're making. It goes in the oven also at that time. But you can be assembled and made ahead of time, put in the fridge, and then just take out at that time. So you don't have this to make later also. And my family goes crazy over this. I guarantee you, you make this, they're going to want it again. It's really good. I take out the seeds. Oh, and any kind of apple works. It's okay if it's Granny Smith, Gala. I think these are Gala? I'm not sure. It might be Gala apples. Uh, Red Delicious. All of them work. And you can do um, a wide square dish or, um, you know, a small square dish. Depends, you know, if you want it deep or spread out. There's no right or wrong for an apple crisp. If you like more cinnamon, put more cinnamon. You like more brown sugar, put more brown sugar. Go. Let's put this aside now. All your cutting, slicing, chopping is all done now. And so you have a square dish with apple slices. And at this time, you want two tablespoons of sugar. This one's just white granulated sugar. in a couple um, teaspoons of lemon juice. Let me shake it first. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I'm going to do it. Okay. And I'm just going to stir these. Let me use this. So you're coating the apple slices with sugar and lemon juice.
Oh, she's really going to town on that bone. Can you hear that? That's all right. That's her thing. Okay. This is good. You see what it looks like? There you go. Yeah. You're going to make your um, topping. And I'm going to cut this butter up. while it's cold and I cut it up it'll be easier to work with and blend into our uh, apple crisp topping. I'm just simply cutting it so it breaks down easier and faster. Okay, uh, let me get a little bowl. Get stuff on there already. Okay, there's my yellow bowl, and I'm going to um, start off with a cup of brown sugar, okay, and then I want three-quarter cup of, of oats, let's see how poor it is. This one nice thing about these containers, you can squish them and make like a spout. Okay, see oats. This is a very simple recipe. Um, woo, a half of um, this is your your butter goes in this. So we're just gonna drop it in. Okay, and um, we do want a pinch of salt. Just, just a pinch, right? And everybody knows I'm heavy-handed on the salt. Okay, I want to add some cinnamon to my apples and to this, but I can't seem... I don't know what I did with it when I got... Maybe it got up into the spice rack. Hang on one second, I'll go get my cinnamon and I'll be right back. Okay, I found my cinnamon. <laughs> and I'm going to put, um, that was heaping, but I like a lot of cinnamon. I'm going to put like one and a half teaspoons in this. And then I'm going to put um, some directly on the apples too. Okay, guys, and, and, Cinnamon is good for you. It's good for your blood. I'm going to stir it into the apples real quickly. I just kind of sprinkled it on the top of them just to give them more flavor. Okay. That's good. And then um, let's see. You're going to want to take like a fork and start crumbling up your um, your flour, your butter, and your oats and your, you know, everything together for the topping. And sometimes I get right in here with my hand, uh, you know, just to get it done faster, which is probably what I'm going to do because you know I like to do that. It just, to me, it goes quicker. They want, you know, all these, all of these kinds of recipes tell you to use ice cold butter, but then, you know, unless you put it in a food processor. It takes a long time for it to break down, which I don't see what the big deal is if you let it come out at room temperature first. <laughs> it all gets in there. Anyway. Also tell me in the comments if you've ever had an apple crisp before. 
If you haven't, you are in for a treat. They're very, very delicious. And when you're baking them, your whole house will smell absolutely amazing. Well, you know, cinnamon and brown sugar and apples. Oh, can't go wrong. What's not to like, right? All of these measurements will be put in the description for you. And my serving suggestion, suggestion will be to put next to some chops. They even, it even goes really well with country style pork ribs. Okay. When you get it to the stage where it just kind of like crumbles, and you can add more oats if you need to, um, that's when you put it across your, you just kind of drop it in chunks across the top of the apples. And I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Bill, you eating that bill? You getting that bone split in two? Huh? Those beef bones are hard compared to pork, aren't they? That's right. That's why they tell kids, drink your milk. Them hard beef bones. They want you to get them hard bones. Okay. And if you see some butter, don't freak out because as soon as this hits the oven, it's going to melt all down through the apples and be, oh, it'll be so good. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> She's getting frustrated. She's like, I can't get this apart. <laughs> okay. So, this is what it looks like. See? And the apples are underneath the topping. And like I said, um, if you make this as many times as my family requests it and you get tired of it, throw some cheddar on top and you'll have like a whole new dish. This is fantastic. You will be making this at least once or twice a month. It is so good to go with any kind of pork or ham dish. So I hope you give my apple crisp a try. And I hope everybody has a fantastic and safe weekend. Bye-bye.